curvy. Can y'all hear me? Hello, hello. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Yudi and I go by Yudi on the Glow here on my other social media platforms. So make sure you guys subscribe, turn on your bell notifications, and go ahead and like this video while you at it. So today I figured I'll give you guys an updated wish list and also take a trip down memory lane for my very first video that I posted here on YouTube, which becomes two years old this month. I'm currently filming today, March 1st. So grab your snacks, grab your dream. I have a whole pin board of my wishes that I'm constantly updating, checking, and taking stuff off. So I'm gonna be going by that. And yeah, we're just gonna jump right in. Okay, so where should I start? Uh, let's see you know what i'm just gonna start with fendi so one thing about it i feel like i've said it like a couple times already now i would really love to have a fendi mini baguette in the zuka print i would love to have it i used to be on this way where i wanted the medium way way back in the day and i thought when i got my fendi mama i'll be able to use the strap and yada 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 but now now i'm really embracing the mini or small bags and when i say that i don't mean micro i don't mean nano i mean what fits my phone a card holder key case lip gloss earpods that's typically all that I need and the other thing too is like I really do love the Zuka print for adding a little bit of texture with the pattern or breaking up the monotony of full monochrome look or whatever the case may be so I would love to have the mini baguette the other item from Fendi this item or shall I say this bag this bag I feel like is Aaliyah's fault Aaliyah from Aaliyah's face she was one of the first people I saw with this bag now I see her wearing it I'm like okay that's cute I would never think to get it but it was cute at the time it wasn't until she posted one video one of her friends and connects from the platform also had the same bag and they were tweeted and I don't know what it was maybe it's seeing two of the bags in the same exact frame clip whatever I said I like that bag and also at that time I felt like every bag is kind of like what's missing from bags or designer bags that I would want so this bag I did see a very affordable dupe from Stodd I'll make sure I link it somewhere in the video in case you guys are interested I feel like it was somewhere between two or three hundred but even though I saw the Stodd bag and I know it fits a lot it was one of those items where I'm like I don't think I want the dupe I want, I want the real main, main piece. I think the full name is Fendi Olock Swing. I, I really want to try on this bag to even know if it looks right on my frame, but this is a bag I would want. So I would say if you guys are looking for something like ivory or off-white, I feel like what could fill that void for you if you want something contemporary, the Stodd bag or, or the Fendi um, Close Happy. It kind of still gives you that you know that same shape but i would love to try this bag on but i don't think it's in the stores but if it looks nice on my brain i'm gonna need it in my collection i'm gonna i'm gonna need it in my future collection all the videos i do even the videos i don't get around to do it i really try to make sure that i'm like reading the room so as i'm talking about these pieces do know that i'm not pressed to get these pieces tomorrow i don't even know if i would like them a year from now so that's why i really do enjoy having my pin board that i'm constantly updating looking and taking things off so the Fetty swing bag has been on the wish list it's come off it's back on now i would love to try this bag on in person if you guys own one especially since there's not many reviews on this bag or at least the leather ones let me know your thoughts on the bag let me know also with Fetty, you guys know i have like a lot of smack to talk when it comes to sequin items and sequin bags see Quins, when they fall off they fall off sometimes it's not too pretty this bag i feel like is a beautiful work of art i think it's a work of art and i think it's called the fendi sunset bag i'm not sure if it comes in a mini version but i would love it in a mini version however it kind of serves like a placeholder for me so i kind of have like my threshold of what i'm willing to spend on a bag whether i have the funds just laying around or i'm going to save up to it whether i'm making 10 times more what i'm willing to spend on a bag and for what the fendi sequins go for i don't know if i could see myself ever spending that much on a bag myself as of today me you know five ten years from now when i'm really settled in my career that could be a different story but as of today no but 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 okay after grabbing a sequin bag from h&m on sale i'm just saying h&m if you can get this color scheme you want to do a doop de doop you know you want to do something you know with this beautiful magenta to orange to yellow to gold I would be here for it. You know, it don't even have to be on sale at H&M. I would still take it because the black sequin bag that I got from H&M, I am so impressed with the quality of it and what I paid for it. So the Fendi Sunset sequin bag, I would love to have it in my collection or something similar. You know, if someone wants to give me the real thing, I would love that. Or if someone makes a dupe, I am all here for it. At least something similar in that same ballpark. Now, one of the bags that I saw, I saw Mark, I did not know Mark Jacobs was doing sequins. So around the holiday season last year, I think I was like actually leaving the mall and I was walking through Neiman. I saw their sale area and Mark Jacobs actually had a bag that was 
not necessarily like similar, but it's like they could be distant cousins. <laughs> So their bag, it was like a pink and this beautiful golden metallic yellow. And it was kind of like a dusty sequin, but, but the sequins were done so well. And then, you know, they flipped when you touched them and the bag was on sale. So I said, okay, right back up. If only this was more of a metallic finish, had some brighter, you know, pinks and magentas in it, I might have been here for it. I might have been here for it. So we're getting close. We're getting close. So yeah, I would love to have something similar to the Fendi Sunset in my collection. Whether it be contemporary or fast fashion, as long as it's done well and has that color scheme. Um, last but not least, I also have the Fendi Shirley. Now this one I would want in the medium size and I would want the older or the vintage version. So the newer version or the re-edition, re-release, whatever you want to call it, it comes with the top handle with the clasp that you can clip on and clip off. But with that, it's not necessarily a, a show bag like if you try to put it on your shoulder it's going to be a tight fit but the older baguette models they have like the shoulder handle in a way that's like a belt that you can adjust that is the style i would want and i saw some reviews on the mini some good some bad very mixed but not too many out there i would like this bag in the medium and this will be my rollout when fall winter hits and when i finally take myself to go skiing on someone's slopes this is the bag i'm coming out with or a cabin trip yeah that's the bag and then i also love the richer color of the zuka print on the shirling version so yeah that's pretty for me next up i want to talk about christian dior now i've had a lot of time to think about it a tons of time to think about it when it comes to the saddle bag there's a time like i said i thought i could use like an ivory bag in my collection so I thought maybe I can get an ivory saddle bag in the medium size. I tried it on in person, I thought it was cute, all those things. Then as more time went on, I saw like the bag can only fit so much. Then on top of that, I, I started seeing the mini version more and I'm like, you know what, I get it. I really do get the mini version. It is very cute, but nothing can fit in it. And where I'm at right now, I want practicality. I want bags that I can use. That's what I want. So then I started realizing and also just really, really keeping my good eye on. I'm like, what is it that I like about this bag? And I saw someone who was around my height. They had the medium bag, the leather one, and the way they wore it, they wore it crossbody and they were like a little bit more slender than me. For some reason, it just looked so off. I didn't know what it was. And the thing that I realized that I really do like about the saddlebags, I love the uniqueness about it. I love that it's different. It's not your average bag that you see every day. But on top of that, I like to call it like the armpit candy. I love that you have like the C&D right here on the armpit, armpit candy, armpit jewelry. I like that. So as I dug in deeper, I start to come across the double saddle and I feel like that is where my heart is at. I would love a double saddle, a burgundy bordeaux red to be exact. I remember there's a time that I saw it on Fashion Vault over the summer. I was also just kind of like eyeing it and playing my waiting game. Although I wasn't really buying anything at that time, I was just eyeing the bag to see how the pricing goes. And as I was eyeing it, you know, some time in the price went down. I said, okay, this is good, this is good. But as fall was rolling in, <laughs> even though the bag was at a decent price it still wasn't quite where i want it to be and then also part of the problem too is like right before the saddlebags became popular again those bags people were able to snag those for three five hundred dollars so i have that in the back of my mind now those those bags are over a thousand even the vintage ones so i was just like oh so i was like you know what i'm gonna just keep eyeing it the issue came as fall was rolling around we know that red was really trending I said this bag is not gonna last and soon after the bag was gone but it is still on my wish list I feel like with the double saddle like the saddle bag alone is already unique but you have that like times two or to the next power I really do like that bag and I feel like a rich burgundy or maroon color bag would be great in my collection and with it being a double saddle I feel like I would have ample room to get all of my essentials in the bag have my armpit candy and go out my business so I would also have a patent leather burgundy red Dior double saddle in my collection one day doesn't have to be tomorrow but one day the other thing I realized I would love to have something that is a navy oblique pattern in my collection so this could be a regular medium saddle i don't know yet but when it comes to like the different silhouettes i looked at like what's currently out vintage pieces i haven't necessarily seen a shape that i'm 100 percent in on but i probably wouldn't mind this in a regular medium saddle i don't i don't know yet but i would love to have that navy pattern in my collection for the fashion culture 
So yeah, next up, I want to talk about Celine. In recent years, a lot of buzz and what has caught my attention when it comes to Celine are their sunglasses, their fragrances, and their tree on the bags. Now, I tried on the tree on bag some time ago. Back then, I thought I liked the classic. Now that I've gotten comfortable in my medium area, I know I would like the teen. So I tried it out. And it was something about that leather. The leather is beautiful. It's buttery soft. It's all the things. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, I don't know if I can fully trust it. I feel like if you get like a minor scratch on it, it's okay. But if, if something more than a minor scratch happens, it would be horrendous. I, I just don't know. I always had that feeling. It took me forever, like watching a lot of people's reviews on the Celine Triumph to like finally found one person video where I think it got a little bit of water damage and it was just... It was just chaos and it was so hard to fix. And then also paying attention to the hardware. Looking at the hardware, I wonder like, is this something that I would only like now or I would like in the future? I wasn't too sure about that. So I just went ahead and took it off the wish list until I don't know what I was doing at the mall. I was probably looking at fragrances. So I stopped by Celine and of course I had my phone in my hand. I had my keys in my bag. I said, let me just put my phone in here and put my keys. When I tell you the fit was amazing, I said, let me put this bag back on the wish list. Let me, let me put it back on the wish list. And then as more time passed, I realized that there's a little bit of overlap between the teen bag and the Prada shoulder bag that I was eyeing. I realized what I wanted and also what was missing was a good easy throw on box bag that wasn't too big, small, but big enough to fit all of my basics. So with that, I kind of got that itch scratch with a bag that I got from H&M recently. But with the Celine Triumph, I feel like it's the bags that I'm not in a hurry to get. Secondly, it doesn't really offer a top handle or shoulder bag moment. You would have to kind of like finagle that to get that kind of look. But another thing that I kind of kept my eyes open on is at least the kind of like East West version or the baguette shoulder style of this bag. At least when I look at those bags, especially when I see those being um, sold, those have a lot of creasing on that top flap. I haven't seen it too much in the teen triumph or the classic triumph, but on that shoulder bag, you will see that creasing if you're looking in the pre-love market. So this bag is on the wish list. I'm not in a rush to get it. For me, it's one of those things if I come back to it a year or two from now and I still like it, um, we, we can we can reconsider. And especially if by then I'm still comfortable with the hardware being what it is, because I feel like the hardware is simple, but it does take up a good portion of the bag. So I'm like, will I like that years from now? Only time will tell, we will see them. And next up, we're gonna talk about Lueve and the puzzle bags. For the most part, I feel like the puzzle bags are a great casual bag to have in your wardrobe. These are not bags that I probably like pull for, um, for a cocktail evening or a night out. Well, depending on the night out, but like for something more, more dressed up, a little bit more formal, I might not reach for a puzzle bag. However, where I'm at now, I would love to have the mini in that cognac brown color. I would love that. Then second, since this is more of a unique, a more quirky, a more fun, a more ambitious bag, I would love to have the small versions in a color block. I feel like that matches the fun of it and I feel like it will be a great collector's piece. I have tried on the color block that's white and beige and tan. I think that's cool. But what caught my eye even more recently, there is a color block that's red and burgundy and the ones I've seen are much older versions because they still have like the D-ring on the back, the feet at the bottom. I think that would be a great piece in my collection. Is it a must have? No, but it would be a great piece to just pull out. So when I first saw this look, I saw it with someone wearing this navy sweater and it just stayed in my mind. And I just thought I would never see it on the market because I'm like, I haven't seen this in the stores, this, that, the other. But recently, I did see it on Rebag and eBay. It wasn't at the price point I wanted, but I saw it. As of now, the small is sold out, but the medium is in stock. I already know the medium would be too big for me. I would love to have the red color block in my collection, just as a fun collector's piece. As of now, we are not in a rush to get it, but mm-hmm. I would love to have it someday, someday. Now, another thing, since we were talking about red bags, I remember there's this image of this red rectangular mini that I used to have in my wish list, and it had gold hardware, all of the things. However, for me, this was the placeholder, as in, I don't have to have a red Chanel mini. However, I do want to have a really nice red leather bag. And when it comes to red, I'm very specific. I love a good, rich, blue tone red. That's the kind of red I like. Unless I'm color blocking, then I'll bring in like some orange reds, things like that. But yeah, I feel like that's something that's missing from my collection and something I would eventually want to have. And I think I want it to have minimal hardware and like not too much going on. So a red mini bag, yeah, I would want that. I want that. Okay, next up, I want to talk about a few ready to wear pieces. So the Fendi Poncha has been in my wishes and it stays there and I would love to have it in the future. It constantly and always reminds me of the Marlo clip when she said, today drained me. 
I would love to have that piece in my collection because I feel like it's an easy throw on over an all black base or an all ivory base. As someone who likes the Zuka print and the Fendi monogram, that would be a piece that I would love to eventually have in my closet, but not in a rush to get. Another piece, one thing about it, I love sets. You guys, I made a whole sets video for you guys and I just wasn't really feeling it. But regardless, I love a nice two-piece set. That extends to the Fendi Zuka two-piece set. It kind of gives you pajama wear, whatever the case may be. This is something that I would love to have in my collection. And this next one is kind of like a placeholder. There was a time that I was looking for just a really nice red and white or red and ivory set, whether it be stripes or some type of print. I wanted something like that. So with Valentino's monogram, I don't know if they call it the iconography, whatever the case may be, their two-piece set, that is the kind of energy and vibe I want. So whether it's Valentino or something striped or it's just something similar that kind of gives that same energy, I would love a nice red and white or red and ivory two-piece set in my closet. I feel like that is what's missing. So those are the designer items that are currently on my wish list. Now let's now take a trip down memory lane two years back when I dropped my very first video here on YouTube. Oh my gosh, this is so good. So, okay guys, so I'm gonna try and pull up the video. Anyway guys, that is all I have for this video today. If you haven't already, please go ahead and consider subscribing, but I know you guys already subscribe, right? right you already subscribed you already liked you already left a comment you already told a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend like telephone so they can join in on the fun right we on the same page so i'll leave some videos on the screen for you guys to check out but until next time bye guys y'all i'm gonna be late to my swim class i gotta hurry up and get up out of here